Hello, hello everyone. Happy Friday. There we go. Hi, Quickie. I love it how YouTube says I'm live before I know I'm live. <laughs> I get a message on my phone that I'm live, but I don't know that I'm live yet. Does that make sense? Hello, Dr. E. Hi, Gina. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Thank you all for the likes already. I just started and I already have 18 likes. Thank you, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for supporting my channel. Hi, Deborah. Listen, this is gonna be a fabulous class. The cutting guide is already uploaded to the project folder. However, I will say it may be updated because I'm doing this with you guys here. All right. I didn't, uh, I haven't made it before. I may add something. I could take something out. So uh, this should be fun. Hi, Mary. My head's itchy. So hopefully everyone had a great week. Hi, Scrappy-Doo. Are you excited for the page folio? Or should I say double page layout folio? Too much, too much. <laughs> hello, Yolanda. Melissa, hello. Catherine Smith. I just noticed that my category says gaming. <laughs> Am I a gamer? Uh, thank you guys. Thank you to all of you who purchased the cutting guide. If you'd like to make this project along with me and you want a cutting guide, it is in probably already in the description box. Otherwise, it is in my shop. Dr. E will post a link here for those of you in the chat. Hi, Sandy King. And um, um, it'll be in my shop and it's called Movie Parts Page Folio. Hi, Lori. Thank you, Mary. Mary says that my new journal jam is fire. Yes, it is. Listen, guess who's changing her October cover for the November cover? This girl, this girl, right here, this girl. So I will be changing it. Hello, Marie, how are you? So Dr. E has posted a link to the layout, guys, uh, sorry, a link to the cutting guide with a discount. This is a $3 cutting guide, okay? You're welcome. $3 cutting guide. Yeah, exactly. With the 50% off. So remember, you will not see that 50% off until you put it in your shopping cart. Uh, that's the way my website works. It kind of drives me nuts, but I can't do a coupon yet. Um, half of the things on my website are missing, so it's just a mess, but the cutting guide is there, so just get the cutting guide, guys. Get the cutting guide. Hello, Shelly. Casey, Barbara, hello. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. All right. So listen, I'm going to give it two more minutes and then we're going to get started because I really would love to get this finished today. And I have a surprise for you all. Are you ready for a surprise? 
the best surprise ever. I will be finishing this off with photos. Photos. I have photos courtesy of my friend, Jen P. So I'm very excited. She recently went to the most magical place on earth and she let me have her photos to put into this project and it'll be a gift to her as a thank you for letting me use her photos. So I'm very excited. I know you all love seeing finished projects with photos. It helps you to translate your own experiences, your own memories into a project like this. So we've got photos guys. Casey, I made the October one, but I made it purple with, and with life in bloom papers. Nice. Oh, I, you have to take pictures of that and show us on the community page. Oh, thank you, DIY, for being a part of the live. I appreciate your time, guys, and you spending your crafty time with me. Thank you so much. Hi, Annie C. Shelly says, hello from North Carolina. Where are you guys come, uh, chatting from? I'm curious. Let me know where you're chatting from. Say hello to everyone. Come on in and let's craft. Let's play with some paper. Maybe tomorrow. All right, I'm going to look out for it. I can't wait to see. That would be so much fun. Purple. I love purple. I just got some purple hydrangeas. I'm loving the purple, guys. Loving the purple. Yeah, so what are we doing today? Today we're making a page folio. If you have followed me for a while, you're familiar with the term. It's a simple, simple concept. We, were we took pages from a mini album or a signature from a mini album and made a folio with it. For the past several months, I've been working with scrapbook layouts, 12 by 12 scrapbook layouts, and I've converted them to what I call moving parts. Why do we call them moving parts? Because the parts, parts and pieces of the layout move. Why do they move? Because I made them interactive. Typically with a 12 by 12 layout, you stick it in a sleeve, no interaction. It is one dimensional if you're sticking it in a sleeve and that's it, okay? But with moving parts, it's a whole new ball game, guys. An entire new ball game. Tonight, what we're doing is we're taking a 12 by 12 layout, which I want to share with you where I got my inspiration from. Because I know so many of you have layout sketches. So I want you to see what you can do with these. All right? You're going to be like, poof, mind blown. Okay? Mind blown. If you haven't been mind blown yet with moving parts because there was no sketch attached to it, if that makes sense, because I don't make sketches, guys. Uh, this one, I have a sketch for you and you probably have this sketch in your crafting file if you collect sketches. Hi, Rochelle, how are you? Welcome back, darling. Say hello to mom for me, please. So New York, Georgia, Iowa, Punta Verde, which is Northeast Florida, Ponte, right? So very exciting. Australia, I love it. All right, so I do have some fun news for you guys. You guys know our crazy Canadian ladies, right? And I say that as a term of endearment. They call themselves this. Quickie and Ross. Yes, they are, the, they are a duo. They have been working behind the scenes trying to, or not trying to, obtaining, uh, coordinating a, an event for us in Edmond or Alberta, Alberta, Canada, at the Edmond Mall. All right, I think I got that right. Edmond Mall in Alberta, Canada for 2025. 
The tentative dates are in September, so I'm really excited about this, and I'm curious to see how many people would be interested. All right, we have I have so many Canadians that craft along with me that I think it would be amazing. Oh, Edmonton, Edmonton, excuse me, not Edmond, Edmonton. Forgive me, West Edmonton Mall. Thank you, Quickie. So, apparently it's the most spectacular mall and I'm excited to see it and I can't wait. I already did Dude's Life 10, Kathy Richardson. Where have you been? <laughs> it's been, it has been on YouTube since last Saturday. Yes. So I'm very, very excited. Yes, Kathy Richardson, number 10 has been on YouTube and it is also in your project folder. It's been there since almost a week tomorrow. Okay. I know. Melissa, are you coming to the one in Pensacola in, in uh, October? That would be great. Yeah, I already did it, Kathy Richardson. It's all done, darling. Check out your project folder. Hi, jo Joni Sue, welcome. All right, I think we can get started. We're 10 minutes in. All right, my friends, grab your cutting. Well, you don't even have to grab your cutting guide, but we'll go over the cutting guide, we'll go over the parts and pieces, and we'll put it together. Let's see, let me move over and let me move my screens over. Oh, you're gonna do the Zoom in July, which is just as fabulous. Once we get to the mall, we never have to leave. Everything under one roof, I love that. I love it when everything is in one place. That's one of the reasons why I love cru uh, cruises. I can't seem to talk today. I completely understand, absolutely. All right, so I'm changing the camera view. So I've got all of my pieces cut, all right? I've got my chipboard pieces cut. I do have to update the cutting guide with my chipboard pieces. And I have photos for you guys, which is the most exciting thing when I have photos, okay? So let's put this layout together and then we'll look at some photos. So my cutting guides are super duper easy to follow along with my videos. It starts with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, depending on how many pieces we have. You start with piece by piece and you start layering and layering and layering. And by the time you're done, you have this amazing piece that you can use for memory keeping. So we're gonna start off with piece a, we have A and A1, not the sauce people, the cardstock piece. So you need two of those. We're making a double page layout. Are you ready for the inspiration? Are you ready? This is my inspiration. This, and I wanna call out the name because you guys may have this. So this on, I searched on Google and I searched for page sketch, uh, scrapbook page sketches. And I loved this one for its simplicity. This is the inspiration layout right here, okay? It is from page maps, and then it says puzzle. I don't know what that is, but that's what I saw online. So I wanna just give, uh, give that a quick, some quick credit there, because this is the inspiration layout. It's a double page layout. Uh, I did make a few changes. If you look at the photos, they're five inches. I'm doing four by sixes, all right? So that's one change. So that is in your cutting guide. And you see how this is flat, right? Flat. There are no moving parts. This is why I call it moving parts. Zero moving parts. Okay, so see this? 
And I'm using the paper collection, thank you Dr. E, remember the magic. And you can find that all on my website and everything's 50% off. Okay, Brenda says that Pazzle is a brand of a cutting machine. So page maps, Pazzles, that's what it says. And actually, hang on a minute. Oh no, it says Pazzles Scrap Room. Sorry, Pazzles Scrap Room. Page maps. All right, so I just want, want, want you guys to see that. So if you, let me, let me just show you my screen really quickly. Just, I want to see how much inspiration you can get from Googling layouts. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can figure this out. Um, all right, here we go. So I Googled page map sketches, and this is the one that I'm using right here. And it says puzzles, scrap room, page maps. All right, puzzles, craft room. So this one, but look at all of this inspiration. You can take these layouts and make a moving part out of any of them, okay? If that's what you want to do. Or you can buy my tutorial, Moving Parts 1 and Moving Parts 2, okay? That I do all of the math for you. All right, let's get back to my workspace. But there is a ton of inspiration for this concept. And listen, take advantage of it, right? Hold on, uh, let me get the chat. I suppose that many of you collect these um, these scrapbooking sketches. If you started off as a scrapbooker, uh, you probably have a ton of these, okay? A ton of these. Oh, no worries, darling. I am like the typo queen. I am the typo queen. All right, so we're going to start off with A and A1, okay? There's going to be a right and a left-hand side. So we're going to start with A is your base page. A1 has tape on the dented side. I use my Maker Basics tape. All right, you can pick this up in my shop. And I also use my Maker Basics black cardstock, the 80 pound. All right, so I highly highly recommend that you guys try my tape if you haven't okay if you haven't i would love for you to give it a try i use card sketches too look at that card sketches i didn't even know they were card sketches at least i don't think i knew that so we're going to go ahead and take a1 and we are going to taper okay taper 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 I can't figure it out. That's why I paid the $3. <laughs> well, listen, thank you so much. Thank you. That is okay. That's what I'm here for, right? Thank you, Sandy. I appreciate you buying my cutting guide. Thank you. Let's see. Are right, Kathy's favorite photo printer and digital print paper printer on the paper phenomenon website it is not but i will tell you how i printed my photos i print my photos with the canon selfie this is the canon selfie 1200 uh cp 1200 i don't know if they still have this one this one's old they may have a newer one by now all right so this is what i printed my pictures on when you print your pictures on the Canon Selfie, they don't come out exactly four by six. They're a little teeny, teeny, teeny bit smaller. Uh, a quarter of an inch top and bottom and an eighth of an inch from side to side. And I'll share that with you once we get to the photos. So you wanna take A1 and put it on A, all right? Pick one side, it doesn't matter. Line it up and stick it down. Doesn't matter which side you pick. A is a perfect square, okay? There, you're gonna do the same thing to the second one. Taper, all right, so you wanna give a little snipperoo on those corners. Do not do not cut all the way to the score line. You don't wanna do that. It will be in the shop. Listen guys, we've been having so much trouble with the shop my digital my digital collections are charging shipping so jane has just taken 
all of the problematic things down and everything will be back to normal as soon as we can figure it out. If you have been charged shipping for anything digital in my shop, please send me an email and we will give you a refund. All right, um, I think we caught all of them and we've issued refunds, but just in case we missed one, okay? So just to avoid the extra hassle, it's been taken down. Some of them, not all of them, whatever is whatever is giving us a problem. So, but everything will be back in there. And when it's back in there, we will announce it. All right, so now that you've attached these, make sure that you arrange them so that they do this, okay? You want one to open to the right and one to open to the left. So we're going to start with the left, with the right hand side first. Okay. You'll notice in your cutting guide, I have some things uh, under right side and under left side. Okay. But right now we're just going to work with B. You should have two B's. It's a pocket. Okay. Tape is on the dented side. You want to apply your tape between the cut edge of the paper and the score line. You want your tape placement to be closest to the cut edge, okay? Closest to the cut edge. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so if anybody's wondering if this layout is included in moving parts one or moving parts two, no, it is not. It is a completely different layout from anything that you find there. This layout is based on this sketch that you see on the screen right now. Does everybody see this sketch? No, this will not be attached to the album. This is completely different, Michelle. Michelle, perhaps you didn't watch my video today. I'm so sorry. So let me give a quick little recap of what we're doing. So moving parts, moving parts page folio is based on moving parts. Yes, because we're working on a 12 by 12 layout. Yes. Same thing, same concept. We've been working with 12 by 12 layouts and making them interactive, which is why they're called moving parts. However, one of our fellow crafters emailed me and said, Kathy, can you make a page layout with moving parts? I said, absolutely. A page folio, excuse me, a page folio with moving parts. I said, absolutely. So I created a brand new moving parts and we're doing a page folio, okay? And if you're not familiar with a page folio, we've been doing this forever, guys. Uh, you'll see it today, all right? So does that make sense? Moving parts two, layouts one through 10 have been completed. They're all in the project folder. You will find them all in there, including the decorated versions of that. You will find them in there. And in there, you'll see how we put the book together and all that stuff. Michelle, you are in very, very big trouble for not watching my video today, Michelle. You and I will have a conversation, love. All right. All right, let's continue. Peace be. So we're going to miter. I'd like you to locate the X that's formed by the two intersecting score lines. And you're going to cut on the diagonal right across that X. Let me move this out of the way so you can see. If I have black on black, you can't see. All right, so you're going to do that to both pieces. Remember, we're making a double page layout. Um, it's been po the printer that I use has been posted to Facebook. All right, finished taxes. I have to. I have the return burning a hole in your pocket. I love it. Listen, buying yourself a printer that would be awesome. Good for you, babe. Good for you. I love it. But Doctor E can post my printer here. The printer that I use. I'm not going to say it because I always butcher the name. Once Dr. E posts it, I'll read it. <laughs> I'll read it out loud to you all. All right, so I'd like you to, don't open it. You're going to stick this pocket onto A1, please. Okay, A1. Don't open it just yet. Oh, I forgot to cut the last four pockets on the cutting guide, darn it. All right, so right on A1, you're gonna stick this pocket to the very bottom, like so.
okay? And then remember, one opens to the right and one opens to the left. Okay, so the, the printer that I use is the Canon Image ProGraph Pro 300, right? For those of you who are curious, Dr. E typed it in the chat, so I can't possibly screw it up. Oh, darn it, switch camera view. Thank you, darling. My, My bad. Here we go. Dr. E, I'm sorry I switched the camera view just now. My bad. So you're sticking your B pocket right onto um, A1. Okay, right to the bottom of A1, like so. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. Oh, Dr. E, are you butt dialing me? All right, so remember, they open up like this. Don't forget, okay, like this. Okay, here we go. So now we have C and D. All right, C and D. So C is a flap. Tape is on the dented side. Tape is always on the dented side unless otherwise instructed, okay? C and D. Okay, these are flaps, all right? Hopefully you're gonna start seeing the look of the layout in just a few minutes. So you have two C's and two D's. So go ahead, fold on those score lines and burnish. Okay, fold on those score lines and burnish. I'd like you to taper each of these. And when I say taper, I mean, look, a little snip. See that? Just a little snip. Just like that, okay? Don't taper too far into that score line. Just snip the corner off. How many of you here still make 12 by 12 layouts? I'm curious. I love it. Look at Deborah Van. Somebody call her. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm using the Remember the Magic paper collection tonight, guys. Remember the magic. Because I have pictures. All right, so C is going to go to the bottom. And D is going to go to the top. All right, these are going to overlap by an inch. Okay, like that. All right, so let's do C first. So I'd like you to attach C right on top of B an inch from the bottom, okay? And I'm just gonna eyeball, but approximately an inch from the bottom. One of the important things with layouts is spacing. When you are layering for a layout, a scrapbook layout, spacing is so important, okay? So if, you, if your spacing is, is off, the whole layout is off. All right, so approximately an inch from the bottom. And D will go approximately two inches from the top, okay? And I'm gonna, I may use a little bit of undo here because I, won't, I may wanna slip something in there, all right? Underneath the... Uh, so you know what, instead of having to use undo, I'm gonna, I'm going to just snip off my tape here and here. I just have to remember to take it back, to stick it back down. All right, see that? And I'm just gonna kind of secure it to each side. So approximately two inches from the top, my friends. Line everything up, okay? looks straight okay now you're gonna do the same thing to the other side okay so now this is important you want these to be nice and even okay nice and even so I cannot stress this enough so maybe if you see how my brain works if you see a layout maybe you'll be able to create moving parts 
Just don't forget to mention me, guys. If it's a moving parts layout, say, Kathy at Paper Phenomenon, show me this. All right, so line it up. This is important, okay? Otherwise, it's not going to look like a double page layout. Me telling you this is important when I'm always, I'm notorious for gluing things on Cricut, like this piece right here. Okay, um, I think I'm okay. Mm, I'm a little lower. I may move it. All right, now next D again. I'm so not used to using 12 by 12, right? We've been doing mini albums forever. That, this big thing is like... Guys, this is really, really, really new, all right? This this whole moving parts thing. So I hope that you like what we've been doing. I always try to bring you guys new things. I try, try my very, very best. All right, so burnish. Remember, this is not glued down all the way. I did, I did glue this one down. All right, so... Do you see the layout here? Do you see it yet? I'm going to show you this. So you see this top border here, here, and here. That is one, two, three, four. The layout, if you look at it, it's section one, two, three, and four. So you see the three sections there? All right. Okay, I'm going to change. I'm not going to forget to change the camera view now. Back to workspace. Okay, so there's the four sections. But in a layout, these are stationary, right? These are pieces of pattern paper. Here, we've got a flap, a flap, and a pocket, okay? So this is where the name moving parts comes into play, okay? All right, so now I'm just gonna paper clip these just to keep everything in check. Yes, 12 by 12. Interesting, Jules. Is this the first time you see me do moving parts layout? Huh? I've been doing moving parts for months, probably a year already. Oh my God, it has been a year, over a year I've been doing moving parts. Welcome, Jules, Paper Passion. You must, are you new to Paper Phenomenon? Welcome, welcome. All right, so next, next are the photos, okay? Next are the photos. Where are we gonna put these photos? So remember, in your, um, I'm already trying to figure out how to add to my scrapbooks. Love moving parts layout. I love it. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Well, I'm not making I'm I'm not making a 12 by 12 layout per se. No, 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 no. I'm using a 12 by 12 layout as inspiration for my moving parts. Okay? And this is gonna become a folio, all right? A page folio. Because we've been making moving parts pages for over a year now. All right, let me, let me focus here. All right, so we have a right and a left-hand side. This is my right side. So next is E, all right? This way. Put this back. So this is a pocket tape on the dented side. We're going to miter. All right, so mitering is cutting directly across the X that's formed by the intersecting score lines. So there are the intersecting score lines. Excuse that extra score line there. I, I kind of mucked up. Mucked with an M. Mucked up. <laughs> I'd like you to fold on the score lines. All right, let's move this out of the way. Fold on the score lines and burnish, please. Then you're going to take F 
and you are going to place it right on top of E like this. Okay, paper clip it, my friends. Paper clip it. Nice, it's gotta be nice and even. If it's a little bit longer, it may be because I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut mine down just a hair. And when I say a hair, I mean a hair. I mean it. You want it, you don't want it to hang over at all. The reason why it would hang over is because we've scored and folded. When you score and you fold, you, you lose a little bit of height. A teeny bit of height you lose, okay? So you may have to trim off a little bit. You don't want anything hanging over. Do not remove your tape backing just yet, please. Not yet. I want you to place it on top. Paper clip it, please. Make sure it's nice and even. Just like if you were sticking it down, okay? Paper clip it. Whoopsie. All right, just like that. Now... I want you to make a cut or make a pencil mark. I'm making a slight little cut. And I want you to free the flap, people. Free the flap. All right, and see, I made a little mark with my knife. You probably can't see it, but I can. Now undo the flaps and cut. I want mine to be exactly to the size of my paper. So that's why I use that's why I use my F piece to make the cut, not a measurement. All right. All right. Now the long flap, I'd like you to give that a little taper. Right? Just a, a little taper, the long one. The short one, I'd like you to fold back and stick it into and stick it down. All right, so fold it back, stick, fold it back, stick. See that, Sandy? This is this is why you bought a cutting guide, Sandy. Right? This is why. <laughs> she cracks me up when she said that. I love it. Right here, this is why you bought a cutting guide. I'm so glad to make it to this. I was going down under for two months and I couldn't watch. Oh, well, I'm glad you were able to make it, Kathleen. Yes, I mucked up. I know, when the, once you put paper on it, that's when it gets amazing. All right, so I'm gonna come in from this side because I wanna absolutely make sure that I am right on the edge of these flaps. I don't want any flaps exposed, all right? Exposed flaps are like your underwear hanging out, okay? You never want your underwear hanging out of anything. You don't want your flaps hanging out either, all right? How's that? Exposed flaps are a big no-no. See this pocket, okay? That's why we want it. And um, and now this is going to go to the top. Okay? I'm trying to think here. I mean, I've could've, I could have put this top part with the flaps, but you're going to see why I didn't in a minute because this corner is going to be exposed and I wanted a folded over corner. Okay? Now, G is going to go right on top of F, okay? I was like, why didn't I just put the flaps on F? There, I, there was always a reason to my, a method to my madness. So go ahead and give me a little taper on G. And now you're going to stick G onto F, okay? <laughs> Are you laughing at me, DIY? <laughs> it should line up perfectly, guys, perfectly. I needed a folded over edge on G, on F, so that's why I did it that way. Or whatever this piece is here, E, excuse me, E. And I put this on pretty crooked, so I'm gonna line it up and straighten it out. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't screw up my, my line here. So now we're gonna do the same exact thing, but with our 
left hand side pieces so we're done with our right hand side pieces all right we're done with it okay we're done so now our left hand side pieces pretty much the same okay now i cut the k piece out of white because of my photo normally all of my pieces are the same color my bases are the same color now i cut this white because of the photo did not have a border and i like my photos to have a white border so instead of sticking my photo to a white border and then onto the pocket I just made the pocket white so that it looks seamless and you'll see it in the uh in the in that during that process okay so now we have h same deal my friends where h is the same as e all right except the different size which is why it's a different letter so we're going to miter boop miter boop out fold Fold. Yes, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I was watching. <laughs> People are just too funny. I was. I watch um um how to with the doc. He's a he is a um, a landscaper, you know. And I was I was looking up boxwoods, and I want to do. I want to make trim my own boxwoods i really want to learn and i want to i want to do it myself so i was looking it up and he was hilarious i have to change the camera view for, camera view for this he said only smart people subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribing then we know why <laughs> i was like i have to say this to everybody so if you haven't subscribed to my channel we know why that is but listen Thank you for the thumbs up and I appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I was cracking up when he said that. It was the funniest thing ever. All right, back to back to the regular programming. <laughs> All right, so same deal. You see this right here? We're going to line it up. And I have to do a little trimaroo here, okay? Trimaroo. Just a just a hair, guys. Just I just want to show you what I cut off. Look, just a little bit. You just don't want any overhang. So I was cracking up. So I'm like, I'm going to totally say that in, on, my, on my channel. We know why you didn't subscribe. <laughs> but I have to say it was from How To With The Doc is his channel. I love, I love his, it, he's just funny. I love funny people that don't take themselves too seriously. You know, I just, I, I love people like that. And he has a great channel and everything is about his wife. His wife, his wife, his wife. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, so you can do this with a pencil if you're not comfortable with a knife and you know, you think you're gonna cut all the way through, you can absolutely do it with a pencil or a pen to make your mark, okay? So now we know why not everyone in YouTube land does not subscribe to Paper Phenomenon channel. We know now. All right, so you want to go ahead and free the flaps, people. Taper on the long side. Whoopsie. Isn't that funny? I know, it's just freaking, I love it. I love it so much. All right, here we go. Now, so flaps down, right? These come up and you stick them. Stick them down because we want a folded over corner. We want a folded over edge. We don't want that corner getting beat up. Because again, these are moving parts, people. Moving parts. All right, I and H and I go together. All right, so let's remove the tape backing. Boom, boom, and another boom. So we should all be booming right now, right? Because we're all removing our tape backing. Start on the tapered side. Make sure that your flaps are not hanging out. Shall we, shall I reiterate? 
why your flap should not be hanging out. Do you guys remember what I said? Nice and straight, people. Let me stop talking nonsense because then I'll screw this up. All right, here we go. Perfectly. Thank you, Dr. E, for posting all that stuff. Hello, Lynn. How are you? Tina, hello. If I haven't said hello to you, forgive me. Let's see. Um... Somehow screwed up my my whole thing over here. What happened? All right, here we go. Um, why do I still see the moving parts layout up on my screen? This is not good. Doctor, is my screen right? I still see moving parts up on there. The the layout, the inspiration layout. Is it maybe frozen there or something? I sure hope so. Yes, like underwear. <laughs> uh, Michelle Renwick says, did you hear Joanne's file ch chapter 11? I mean, I thought the money I spent there would have been enough to get them out of debt. <laughs> I love it. That is too funny. Oh my goodness. Wow, I have to tell you that my screen is so delayed on my end. Right now, it's showing me the the my Google search. Wow, that's so crazy. Okay, well, as long as you guys can see me, that's all that matters. All right, guys. So this one goes on the left-hand side. So the opening is going to be here on the left-hand side. This one, your opening is on your right-hand side, okay? So now let's do our K pocket, all right? So K, you can do it black or white. If you printed your photo with a white border to fit here, then you can cut this out of black paper, if you printed your photo that, if you cropped your photo, and I'll show you with, in a photo, with the photo in just a moment, you want to do it with white, okay? And you'll see what I mean. Super, do, listen, we have got a room full of comedians tonight, seriously. What, can you imagine what the Zoom, what the the global retreat is going to be like with all of us in there chatting oh my gosh listen guys if you have not signed up yet to global events you may want to sign up okay so when you stick this down it's going to be like a a, a photo mat okay right so notice it doesn't go from end to end you still see a white border okay uh then I'm going to start with these. Before I stick that, stick that down, I'm going to grab my J pieces very quickly. So I'd like you to taper just a little snipperoo on your J pieces. Okay? little snip, snip. Snip, 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 snip. And we are going to start with the, out, the, the sealed side of the pocket. Okay, we're going to place that on the sealed side of the pocket, like so, right on the edge. Remember, when you are layering, you want it to be right on the edge. You want, you want it to look like one layer. You don't want to see the layers, okay? Now, the other one goes right on the other side. You want to nest it in there, and you want to leave just a teeny bit of room, okay? I mean, a bit, no when we're when we're layering things and I say you want to line it up with the score line right at the score line. Same deal here, guys. Same exact deal. Okay? So I'm gonna hold it tight there, open, open, and then remove the tape backing and secure. Alright? Nice and straight, guys. So these should go like this. I'm gonna put a little a paper clip here just to secure it and now I'm going to go ahead and place this right on here and it's going to 
um, this is going to mat my photo, which is why I close it, why I cut it with the white paper. Okay. The white paper. Guys, if you love, if you would love to make this project along with me, there's a cutting guide on my website called moving parts page folio. And you can pick that up. It's just a cutting guide that gives you all of the measurements that you need to make this uh, page folio. Okay, so let me grab the photos very quickly. All right, so my subject for today is my friend Jen P. That's Jen P. And this is her family. This is Gigi and this is Peyton. And I love them dearly. And there's, look at, I made a collage. So you'll see all the fun stuff that we'll have here, okay? So these are these photos here. So when you make a layout, right? So see why I did it in white so I can highlight him? And this photo that I'm gonna use, which photo am I gonna do, Pepe? Which photo? This one. This photo, I printed it with the white border. So see how it matches now? Does that make sense now, guys? This photo, I cropped. I cut around it. So I had to give it a white border. This one, I was able to print it with the white border, okay? So let me grab my glue. Oh my God, look at it with photos. Ah, thank you, Jen P. Thank you. I lost my glue. Where's, how, can, how does a person lose their glue? Here we go, found it. Hello, Janice B. How are you? There not be enough room in the folio for all of the white photo mats? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, there's plenty of room in there, and I'll, sh and I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to stuff mine with photos. If you're, I mean, like with a bazillion photo mats, you would put less photo mats and you'll see that in the process, darling. All right, so there's the first one. I love this picture with the castle in the background. So we're gonna do this one. I have a few suggestions for the Zoom event. Can I call you next week? Absolutely. I need, I would love some suggestions. I can, I can bounce some of my I, game ideas off of you, see what you think too. All right, so when you see a double page layout, these are your photo opportunities here, right? These two right here, only, done, boom, finished. With a moving parts layout, you get this and this, my friends, all right? This one goes right here, this one goes right here, and I gotta find another one. Oh, maybe I'll do a pocket card. Maybe a pocket card. Or maybe pocket card, pocket card. I don't know. We shall see. But this was this is Peyton's first time at Disney. He got the little button. So let's go ahead and do this. So he's gonna go right in the middle. My little Pepe. Careful with your glue if you are mounting photos. All right, so careful, careful, careful. Um, oh, ah, I forgot my, I almost forgot my, my magnet. Ah, all right, sorry, magnets. Guys, I have the most amazing news for you. If you buy magnets from my website, as of today, I am now including the discs again. I haven't been able to include the discs anymore because they weren't making them for me. I would get my magnet order without the discs. So I'm getting my discs again. This is at no extra charge. The magnet order does not go up in price. So um, so this goes here. And, oh no, it was fine. My magnet, my magnet goes here. Oh my gosh, Kathy. Doofus. All right. So this was fine. All right, so Pepe goes back. Now, magnet goes here, and then disc goes here. All right, so magnet, 
And what the disc does, it reduces the bulk, okay? It reduces the bulk, which is really nice. All right, so now disc, see that? Little bit of glue, so we can make a stamp, boop, stamp, disc, tape, photo, repeat. All right, so now uh, we can do this photo here. And I think I'm gonna do a pocket card here, so I'm gonna leave that one alone, okay? Because um, maybe pocket card here, I'm not sure. We'll put this one here because I love it. I'm gonna do some tape on this side because there's a bit of a bump there. So I don't wanna have to hold my photo down. Oh, my honey bunny is home. All right, so I like to get that tape right on the edge without going over the edge. This is my brand of tape. It is a double-sided 3 8 inch. It is an amazing, amazing tape. Guys, it's in my shop. If you need some tape, try mine. When you're all done with whatever tape you use, which is probably what I used for years, when you're all done with it, give my tape a try. Buy one roll, one roll. And then you tell me, people. All right? All right, so let's stick this down. So you see all of the photos you can get on a moving parts layout? This is what moving parts is about, guys. So I'm going to leave this like this because I'm not sure if I'm going to do pocket card or photo. This is all you would get on that two, on the layout, these two photos. All right, on that one layout that I showed you, let me show you again. So this is the left-hand side. See, photo, photo. Right-hand side has four, just four, two by, two and a half by two and a half photos, okay? Not the case here, my friends. And we have a pocket. And we have another little pocket right here because this, instead of just making this a white mat, because I wanted, I wanted this to be flush because there was layers here. I needed layers here. You got another little pocket right here. All right, so it's really, really cute. Really cute. I just love it. All right, so let me do, let me put the photos over here. So let's put this down. Oh my gosh, I keep on touching it. I love. So I'm going to do, this is Jen P and her daughter Gigi. Her favorite princess is, um, oh my God. I forget her name. Mm. Anyway, her, it'll come to me. Sticking this one down here, but let me think about my magnet situation here. Yeah, magnet here and here. Okay, so I can stick this one down. So here's the four photos that Tiana, Princess Tiana, I knew it would come to me. Here are the four photos that you see in the layout, right? Yes, thank you, Johnny, uh, Joni. Thank you. Princess Tiana. So I did the Princess Tiana pictures smaller here. And just so you can really see her reaction, she actually cried. It's the most tender, tender moment in this photo. I just love it. Love, love, love it. And there she is smiling. Isn't that just darling? So... I thought it would be nice to highlight those photos here and here. Look at that, how gorgeous. Can we talk about the color that you get with this Canon Selfie? It's a fantastic printer. Listen, and I don't get a cent for saying this, okay? Not a cent, but it's a great printer. If you're looking for a personal printer, try it, guys. You will not be sorry. Um. If you are adventurous like I am, I would totally put a slit right here in this dress and put a little note, an area for a note. I feel like doing it, but I don't know if Jen P would love that. <laughs> but I would put a slit here and you could put a little, a little note. Oh my gosh, I forgot my magnet, doofus. I get so excited, I wanna stick things down. All right, so magnet. 
doofus. What do you think about that, guys? So there. Um, the the um, the the uh, disc. I was going to call it a washer stamp. Now you know exactly where your washer needs to go. Boom. Tape. Repeat. All right, so now this one here and I have the Canon Selfie CP2-1200. CP1200. When I have a bulky item, I like to use tape. I like to use tape, period. It's my preferred, double-sided tape is my preferred adhesive. But so I can go a little faster during the classes, I do glue. You notice that for construction, I do not ever use glue. I tried it for construction and I just can't. I do like, do like the double-sided tape better because with the glue, um, it makes it stiff. And for construction, I don't like a stiff page. Beautiful. These magnets are wafer thin, so I can absolutely, these uh, discs are wafer thin, so I can absolutely use that, use the glue on that. All right. How darling is this photo? Darling, darling, darling. Hi, Linda. All right, so again, with a basic layout, I would only have the four smaller images. And I hate to say basic because some of these scrapbook layouts are works of art. But you guys understand what I mean when I say basic, right? I'm sure you know. So many projects and paper, I know. We have so many great things. I just love that. There you go, there it is. So let's look at the inspiration layouts that I got from uh, Craft, the, the Puzzle of Craft, I forgot already. Um, here is the inspiration layout. See my photos, a skinny one, a four by six and four and a quad. All right, let's look at the inspiration layout. A skinny one. I replace the five by five with a four by six, and then the quad here, they're two and a half inches square. These in mine, it's, these are two by threes. Uh, yes, two by threes. All right, so do you see? Do you see what's happening here, people? And we have more. And that satisfying magnet sound here and here. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do pocket cards here or photos, more than likely I will do photos, but let's just leave it at this for now. All right, so do we love this so far, guys? And look at all these photos we're gonna put in here, okay? Look at this. Look at that. You guys are really listening to me because the chat is so, so slow. Yes, it's just for printing photos, four by six photos, only four by sixes, or if you do a collage, you can print smaller photos. So this is what it looks like, right? You put your photo paper in there and then it has an ink cartridge, all that good stuff, okay? So you can make collages like this. The app allows you to make these little photos, these collage photos. See that, how cute? And then uh, it doesn't give you a true four by six. They're four, four and an eighth by five and three quarters. Okay. Yes, you guys are being so, so good today. I love that you're enthralled in this project. Okay, so here is the left. Let me make sure I get it right. I don't screw up. I have to cut my, my final pockets. I forgot about it. So this goes here. All right, we're gonna put, of course, 
Um, I think I want it. I want to just kind of, oh, let's, well, look at me. Look at me changing things already. Hold on. Let's look at the, let's look at the inspiration layout. Oh my God, Kathy. Okay. It goes under. All right. My bad. So I got to position it just exactly like the layout. I was already changing things, people. All right. So I've got, I'm about an inch from the bottom. All right. About an inch from the bottom. All right. Cool. I got it now. So and here's that bottom. We're about an inch. We're not going to stick this down yet. We have to we have to do pattern paper. Okay. So we need one, two, three, four pieces of pattern paper. The top and the bottom can be the same. All right. This inspiration layout has a little decorative something on the top and on the very bottom. It also has some stitching lines around the perimeter. Um, I'm not going to do the stitching, but that would be fun. Right? Oh, I feel no, I'm not gonna do it. Stop it, Kathy. Stop it. All right, let's continue. Maybe on the next one we'll do stitching. I think I'm addicted to this now. All right, so I'm back. I'm back. So let's move this. Let's get paper, people. I'm so excited. So remember, I didn't put glue on this one because you know we can tuck something and just create more and more and more and more layers. So because this is a photo, I was thinking we could do like these, a torn edge or something at the top. Or, oh, oh, this one. Oh, we'll do this one. I just want it for the edge though. I don't want the whole thing, I think. Let's do paper, guys. Let's talk paper. All right, so I'm using the Remember the Magic Collection. All right. This is the printed one. I no longer have any printed available on my site, guys. I only have digital. I know I should reprint this, but I don't know that I'm going to. There has to be enough interest for me to reprint. I hate, I don't have a lot of space in my garage. Oh. This one is like just perfect. the top and the bottom, just perfect. Let me see, oh, and the stripe. The camera one here too is just too stinking cute. <gasps> I can't take it, guys. I cannot take it. I can put this on the inside. Oh, this is going to be gorgeous. Am I the only one who gets goosebumps with pattern paper? I love this too. For the inside, we can do a lot, guys. A lot. We gotta use that for Gigi's princess. Oh, I gotta use this one. Hello. Love. Hmm. Oh, say cheese. Oh. Hold on, people. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I can use this one here, but no, I can't. Crap, it's on this side. That's all right. I can use something else. All right, let me look because if I want to use this one, I need another paper. Actually, I don't because I only need a sliver. I don't actually. Yeah, I only I don't need a second paper. Oh my gosh, I am just so lucky. Okay. The question is, I think I want these little this little mouse button here. I'm cutting it, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready for some magic? Look, I'm even standing up is how I'm excited about cutting this paper. <laughs> I'm even standing up. That is how excited I am about jumping into this paper. All right, so let's look at this here. Oh my goodness. 
too good. Okay, I'm doing it, guys. I'm doing it. Let me measure. All right. Stop it. That's 11, so here. All right, that goes there. Okay, and then here. Oh, I don't have exactly. I, I have to get, I may have to get a second one for this, which is fine. Which may be fine. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to drive me crazy that the lines don't line up. I'm going to have to cut a little bit more off. Let me see if I have a second pack. Look at that. I have my own little hoarding stash here, people. Let's see. Got my own stash. Where are you, stripey paper? Aha! I'm not mistaken when I all right so I have to cut that white line off at the bottom okay and then I'll get a perfect match I don't need well you know what I'm gonna just cover that I'm gonna use the circle so everything is identical and it'll be covered by the photo which is okay by me Just so everything just lines up perfectly. Because if I go in the opposite direction, I lose. I just drop a circle and that's, that's kind of silly. So I'm gonna put this here because Hey, Pei and his adorable little face will cover it. No, actually, crap. I should have went the other route. Because I'm lowering it, lowering it down here. Oh, well, I'm going to put something to cover that there. An element, a decorative element. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Are we ready? Right, I'm gluing this. Well, no, I'm not gluing it down. I can't commit yet. Let's continue layering paper. <laughs> I have commitment issues. Let's continue layering paper, folks. Let's not get ready to get married just yet. Just ignore this. This will be covered. Let's put Pepe there for now before you guys, uh, that makes you crazy. What, baby? Oh, hold on. What, baby? Tomorrow, let me see it very quickly. Come. Mommy's in a class. I'll show you it after I'm done. Faith had a very important message to tell me, guys. 
Very important. She has a birthday party invitation in her backpack. <laughs> she thought it was for tomorrow, but it's not until the 21st. Oh my gosh. Too funny. All right. I can probably, I'm still obsessing over this, guys. Still obsessing. Because, oh, I need the, oh, but I could do the yellow, then white. Yes, I'm still obsessing, guys, because that is what I do. When I want something just so. And we just may be here all night. Do you guys have anywhere to go? I don't have nowhere to go, man. I don't have anywhere to go. Because I will cut that yellow piece off. Uh -huh. Cut that yellow piece off and then cut it right down there and have that and just, oh yeah, this makes me happy and that, that way I can lower it where I want to lower it. We're in business, folks. All right, I'm cutting the yellow piece off. Yeah, because I can't have the white piece. Those two circles will just mess up my whole vibe. I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. It will mess up my entire vibe and I won't be able to get things done because it'll just mess up my whole head. All right, I'm sticking this down, guys. I'm committing. Uh-oh, I missed what Sandy King said. Now, I'm not inking, my friend, so that will also, you know, would be fabulous if I could, but I can't. I'd rather craft than ink. Be able to craft some more than ink. Okay, let's see. Um, you ain't going anywhere. I love it. Listen, this is like the best. I just, I just love this. I know I, we, I say hobby, right? But I just love it. Love it. I love what I do. I love crafting with you guys. I just love it. Now, who said this was pieced? Who said that? All right, so now I have to cut from the white, right? Let me just, please don't mess this up, Kathy King. Please. All right, from this second white line. Don't mess it up, Kathy. Everybody hold your breath. Okay, I got it. All right, we got that. Okay, now this will make me happy. Now I can live, guys. I couldn't live before <laughs> with those two things on the same side. It was making me nuts. Okay. All right, I'm still right and left-hand side. Excellent. All right, so I'm just going to pop this right here because I need to look at the colors and all that jazz. Okay. And I'm about right there. So that will go just like that. Perfection. All right, let's pick a bottom paper. I'm thinking for the bottom, how much of the cam... I don't get enough of the cameras... I don't get enough up there, so we are going to go with, I have to pick something that I can do both on the same side or a continuation of something, okay? 
and I can absolutely do this say cheese here. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just shy. Hmm. Because I would need, I do have the black there. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what it looks like, people. Sorry that I am not looking at the chat with you guys, but I am just totally into this right now. So forgive me. So because I have... Oh, I got to chop off just a little bit off the top, darn it. See if I can. Oh, perfection. I love that. And I can do just this on the other side. Okay. And I feel like I need some black or something here. I may have to undo that late, that little bit right there so I can get it under there just so, okay? And on the bottom, I can do this little strip on the bottom and then the, the stars. So I need, boop, and get two, two strips of this. Cut this down to size. Guys, we're using P3 tape for to make the cover. So if you haven't tried P3 tape, it is in stock. So pick up a roll. Listen, you will not regret it, okay? When I tell you that, I mean it. Oh my gosh, the little dots. I can't take it. Oh, but maybe I could put the dots there. Okay, you guys are out. I need to put my paper here. And my magnet is going to go here. So I got to put the magnet first. But I can cut my paper. dots to line up so let's be careful with that all right and then okay so I'm going to cut these dots off at about right there And then cut from this side. Hang in there with me, guys. Just make sure our dots are lining up. I'm a little annoyed that my glue has warped on this side. I may have to put this under my... I love how it picks up on the cream. I'm gonna cut a little bit off of this one. Just a hair, guys. It'll make my life a lot easier to just get rid of a sliver than to try to remove that whole thing. There we go. Guys, I love it. Love, love, love it. Let me stick this down. So I don't have to deal with this anymore. I used way too much glue there. So 
And if you think that your paper is going to warp, listen, take the time and use the tape, okay? Oh, I love that too. Take the time and use the tape because you'll be so much happier with your end result. And ink if you can. If you like the look. If you don't like the look, hey, you're good. All right? You don't have to. All right? But I think... I think most of us like the inking. Is there anybody here who prefers not to ink, just out of curiosity? I'm just curious. It really is easy to work with, Casey. I'm so glad that you noticed it. Everything works together. Everything works together everything I just love it I've used it on quite a few projects all right let's get our magnet here I think I should do two so it doesn't my ends don't kind of warp out so we can do this down here let's see um, thank you. And we haven't even added any bells or whistles, guys. We don't have bells or whistles. We've just got paper. Can you imagine when we add bells and whistles? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy I didn't have to match up the paint the paint splatter with my crazy my crazy self. Notice how I didn't match any of the paper to the clothes, right? I don't do that. I think I like that end better than the way it ended on the other side. I'd rather have that. All right, magnet time, people. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do two magnets one on each side two magnets please I like inking but I sometimes forget to do it I hear that I love the ink look but I got inker's elbow while wow. yeah I hear that while well, inking destinations journal oh it's terrible right absolutely terrible I've got, I think I got, I guess it's called scrapbooker shoulder. Crafter shoulder. So two magnets, tape, tape, guys. And then we're going to do the, the discs. All right, that as of today, April uh, April 5th, if you place an order as of April 5th for magnets, you will get discs with your magnet order. There's no price increase, okay? No price increase. Okay, and then a little bit of tape just to secure it while I put pattern paper down because this can be pattern paper and photos. So you can, can you imagine all of the pictures you can get in here because even this can be all photos? Seriously, guys. I mean, gosh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. But I don't have enough photos, so I will leave some blank areas so that Jen can put photos if she wants. Oh, that one doesn't have more photos. So tape across the top where the magnets are because there is a bit of a bump there and I don't want to have to hold my paper down until the glue dries in that area. 
So I did a combo tape and glue. Alrighty. Love it. Love it. Love it. So I should have put it on the sides here too. I'm going to have to hold the sides down. Okay. All right. So magnet. Sometimes my fingers cramp up, but I think it's because I'm pressing down too hard. It is possible, darling. Who knows? We've been messing ourselves up with this, with this, uh, with crafting. I know that I can't possibly be the only one who has crafter shoulder. <laughs> I swear it's a thing. It's got to be a thing. It's got to be a thing. Hi, Donna. Who else am I missing here? Stop it. My tape is not on there perfectly. All right, I have to... Oh, 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 I put it too low. Crap. How did that happen? My bad. They're so thin, I have two of them. And didn't even notice. Okay. I don't know what Faith is having a conniption about over there. I hear her messing with the ice and just saying, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if she's crying or laughing. I'm not sure what's going on over there. I'm going to put some tape on this side. Do you notice how quiet I get when I'm matting? This is why it's so hard for me to record myself while I'm matting and talking because I get so... I get so involved with what I'm doing that that's why I normally have music on when I do my matting videos because it's hard for me to focus and talk and all at the same time while I'm trying to mat. During the construction process, I could talk all day long, but matting, I don't know, I just get so focused. It's a whole different, whole different ball game for me when I mat. We can put some fun papers here on the inside. Because I don't have to have two of them for the inside. It does, I don't think it has to match on the inside. I don't know how you guys feel about that. You may feel different. I may feel different. We'll see. Yes, I am giving this as a gift. To, uh, to Jen P. I know that she just recently went to Disney, so I, I messaged her and asked her if she could send me some pictures for my class today, and she said yes. Ta-da! That little magnet sound. Oh, yes, people. Oh, my gosh. Are we ready? to? We can stick this down now. Now we gotta be careful because we just stick it to the bottom. See why it was important for me to have a folded over edge? <clears throat> well, I'm thinking, <clears throat> I was thinking of, because I don't wanna have to, um, what was I thinking? I was also thinking of putting it toward the top. Oh, you know what? I didn't think that far ahead. Darn it. Because I wanted to put the border here on top of this side, but the magnet still works, so that's fine. Whoopsie, wrong side. 
Yeah, that's what I want. That's why I wanted this at the top. See, there's always a method to my madness, but I switched it up on myself. But that's all right. I can live. I can live. Now, let's see what paper we're going to put here. I do have to come down just a bit more because I just want an inch. All right. Um, I probably should have did a magnet here. Nah, I don't think I need it. Stop it, Kathy. Stop it. Do we want another, introduce another paper? I say yes. I say yes. Like these hearts here, maybe. I want to see what that looks like. I could get a row of hearts this way, but not a row this way. Do I care if they are that way? I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. Yes? I won't know until I see what it looks like. So I got to see. And that'll bring some more... Um, That'll bring some more of the craft into the mix. I don't know what things look like unless I see them first. Because once we put things in the in the in the pocket, we won't really see this. But that is adorable. So much fuss over this here, and re I just remembered I wanted to do a little border here. I guess I can just do it here then. So much fussing. It's this, it's this right here. Maybe I could just do it here and here. Love that. We're gonna stick this, stick this down. All right. And then we can stick the pictures down. And we get to map the inside. I don't know, we may have to pick up on this. Um, I don't know what I have going on tomorrow. But what time is it? Oh, I still have 30 minutes. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. All right, are we ready to stick this down? Ah! So we're only sticking it down to this part right here, okay? And you're gonna do this. See that? An inch from the bottom. For me, it's easy because I have a clear defining edge with, um, with my dots. Nice and straight, nice and straight. So careful how far up you go with your glue. Now we gotta let that dry people, let it dry. I'm gonna try the punch with you all because I, I do need I do need that edge. I'm gonna hold point to that. Did I take the I think I took the punch out already. I did. Alright, so let me grab some cardstock and let me get to punching. Okay. So I'm going to move this over ever so slightly. I do have to cut. All right. I was just going to say I totally forgot how to use this thing. Let's see if I remember properly. Yeah, I do. I guess it's like riding a bike, folks. This is what I get for talking. Crap. 
Whoopsie. Stop it, Kathy. So I got to go a whole, a whole thingy. I sure hope so. Right here, I think I'm going to skip one. I am scared. Ah, I did it again. Okay. Hold on. Let me try this side. <laughs> okay, so you just go one. Just one. No, what is going on? Somebody save me. I don't have an exact number. The folio will tell me how many numbers, how many photos will go in it. Because I, I will explain. Why is this mark here? There's a mark here. Why? I did I made this mark for a reason. I don't know why. Okay, one. Riding a bike and then falling off on your butt. <laughs> All right, I skipped two now. Oh, I guess it's skipped two, guys. One, two. Am I going to make it, folks? Yes, success! Success, success. However, I only want... I only want the top little piece. I don't want the whole thing. So let's see if I can make this happen, people. Almost like riding a bike, babe. Almost, almost. So this is where I screwed up. I forgot that I wanted to put this. Let me cut this in half, yes? I may have to do this again. Because I don't want it that fat, this side. See, it's so fat on that side. This side's quite skinny, though. Do I want it that skinny? Remember, I, I did the right thing here. Oh, yeah, see, I need that. Undo time, folks. I gotta be careful because it'll stick out the, well, I can always mat over it, so that doesn't matter. Do I wanna commit to this? Am I gonna be able to get a second one like this? I don't know. But that looks so good. I love, love, love that. That looks really good. And I guess I can just put it right here. Okay, so open. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I can mat under that, so no biggie. You're dying. Crossing your toes again. Now, let me see if I got to get the same exact thing. <laughs> I don't know that I can, people. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Okay, if I put it right on there, it should be good. <laughs> How many of you have faith in me, huh? I don't know. You shouldn't. I screw up all the time. Why do I do this to myself? Why? Why, why, why is the question. Okay. Let me see. Oh my God. Please don't be bad to me. Please be nice to me. Pretty please. With sugar on top. I want to see... 
Oh, it's right on the edge. All right, I got this, folks. I just wanted to see where it was. All right, wait a minute. Do we want the bolder edge? Or do we just want the little circle, the little, little thingies? Oh, I like the bolder edge. Okay, question answered. All right, so I'm going to put these little, this here. All right. I'm going to put it right on the edge of the paper. All right. I'm going to let that dry. I'm freaking out, folks. And now I'm going to stick this on. Let's try this again. Everybody, hold your breath. <laughs> Nobody move. Nobody say a word. Oh my gosh, I think I got it. Yes. Yes. Ta-da. All right, so now let's try let's try it again, shall we? Well, I only need this little piece. I could probably cut that off, huh? Let's see. Well, let me cut this side first. Oh boy, now I need an exact match. That's gonna be fun. That is actually it right there, but I mucked that one up. All right, folks, all right. So the question is, people, I am going to cut it on this side. That's about an eighth of an inch above. All right, here goes nothing. I guess I can do it 50,000 times. Until, ah, not exactly. I guess I can do it 50,000 times until I get it right. All right. Last time, people. One more time, we're gonna punch this because I gotta have it. And I, <laughs> and I was gonna put it down here, but forget that. Forget about it. I'll be here all night. Where is this stinking punch at? Well. I left my undo undone. Just cut it out again and use the edge. Yes, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it again, babe. Do it again. Cause I'm I'm scared. Okay, the first one is one, but then the other ones are twosies. One, two. Okay, wait. All right, so I got to cut eighth of an inch off. I don't know, guys. I don't have comp. Oh, nope, never mind. I put it right here in my light so I can see what I'm doing. Because I left quite a bit. I didn't measure it. That looks right. It looks so right. I'm scared. Ah, oh, so thick, but I can do that with my knife. I feel like I'm better with my knife than I am with that trimmer for precise cutting. So, let's see. Look at me getting a cutting mat for my cutting mat. I have lost my marbles, I tell you. Okay, that looks good. That, my friends, looks good. Yes, yes.
this piece, it has me stressed out, I tell you. I make a whole layout. And this little piece has me estres. Oh my gosh, do I have this right? No, it's still a little high. <gasps> a little bit more, guys. A little bit more. Don't try this at home, kids. We may be onto something here. Ah! I got it! Hallelujah! Ah! Oh my God! Something is not being nice to me with this thing. Did you guys, did you guys see that? Did you see what just happened to me? I almost tore the whole thing up after I got it right. Like watching a scary movie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just for this thing right here. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's do this, people. A little one do. I know. I know. It's so crazy killing myself over here with this I'm gonna have to turn my fan on all right so Hmm, maybe just a little bit over right there. That actually looks pretty darn good. All right, I am going to put glue on these little legs here. Whoopsie. That looks pretty darn good. I'm going to just match it up right there. A little bit more. Let's see. Just bring it up a teeny bit. Oh my gosh, did I actually get this? Did I actually do this, people? I am stressed. If you take my blood pressure right now, it is high right now. Over this little strip. I made this whole layout easy peasy and this little strip got me stressed out get out of here I tell you seriously but that was so worth it how cute is that so worth it all right friends I'm excited so I have to make We don't even have embellishments on this yet, okay? This is what I am so thrilled about. So down here, this can be photos. Let's put a piece of pattern paper here because why not, right? I want to put like fun papers here, but you know, if I put fun papers here, if she wants to do four by sixes here, she probably won't want to do it. So I think I'm gonna have to go with papers like this that are easy to cover up. What do you guys think? And maybe just on the top, I'll do something fun. Like I really wanna do this one up here, right? Because she was visiting the princess house. So let's do that one at the top because it's just too perfect, right? absolutely perfect and you can absolutely fit a four by six here right there boom look at that and oh my gosh that looks so good but let me see what else I have because I can use that for something else <gasps> Ooh, this one yes
So we want to mat inside of the pocket. Remember, there's a pocket there. So let's do that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I forgot to glue that back. Oh no, there's a tape there. I guess there's still not, the undo is not dry yet. Stop it. Okay. Gorgeous. We're definitely keeping this, so that's easy peasy. Ooh, lots of glue. Put that right there. Oh my gosh, this yellow against the black looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, I need to just scream right now. There we go. No screaming, Kathy. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I have to put, I want to do tape at the top so that I don't mess with the magnet thingies because it will mess with it for sure. And we don't need that, do we? I have a ton of photos here that I have to put on black cardstock because I don't want to just throw them in there without matting them. It's something I cannot do. I have to mat the photos. You see how perfect the tape is? It just takes so much longer during these classes. I'll never get done with anything if I do that. You know, if I tape up every single single piece of pattern paper, but man, you would get no glue stuff anywhere that I don't want it. Because no matter how much I try, and I'm pretty good with my glue, but as of late, I've been quite the messy messy. You can even do a slot here if you want to. Oh man. Absolute. So these need to be matted, but look, guys, all of the pictures that you can get in here. You see what's happening here, my friends? All of the pictures that you can get in there, just absolutely amazing. Just amazing. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Bella, you're on the edge of your couch. I love it. It's so funny. So these are all printed with the white, right? Well, that's a smaller one. But look at, look at how stinking adorable. Let me get a paper for here. Too good, guys. Too good. Good, we'll use the other side, right? Because why not? Because we can. We absolutely can. And this is a good paper to, do, to just slap a photo on top if you want to. It won't, it won't hurt anybody. I'm gonna do a little slot in this one because I can't help myself, guys. I gotta do it. Uh, Gem P is not a crafter, so I don't want to make it too complicated, which is why I'm I'm not adding too many bells and whistles, you know, like slots and all things that are going to make you go, hmm. But I'm thinking with this little slot, those these teeny photos, we can mat those and stick them in that little slot. How cute would that be? Or just some embellishment, something. Would be cute. Let's see. We shall see. Cutie patootie. 
or a pocket card, something, anything, guys. All right. Okay, let me put my slot punch in here so I'm not getting too crazy. I don't know why this paper... Did I use... Hmm. I got more photos and more photos. I've got, she sent me a ton, which I'm so thankful for. Oh my gosh. 10 and three quarter inches. Um, right here we've got maybe two pieces. Every time I do anything uh, related to the happiest place on earth, it reminds me of Crystal Hudson. And she's not here today. Uh-oh. Time to take my meds. It's 9 o'clock. <laughs> My alarm is at nine o'clock. Look at that, guys. You can put all sorts of pocket cards in here. And we still have the inside to do. We haven't even done the cover yet. I will probably do that tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be a live, but it'll be on YouTube here, whether it's a live or recorded, because I can't wait to show you the rest of this. Because I still have to mat all those photos. Let me bring this down and this down, right? Look at that. Oh my gosh. This could be two areas for photos. There's a little tuck space right here. Um, you know, I'm not opposed to cropping pictures. I'm okay with cutting some feet off. <laughs> no problem. Oh, these are perfect. I can do one on each side with a pocket card. One here and one over here. And then she can fill in this side. I gotta cut some pocket cards out. And then I can do maybe pattern paper. It's a little bit too high, so I'm just gonna get rid of a hair on each side. Perfect. Or I could just, I mean, they're so cute together, too. And then, um, no, I like the pocket card idea. I like that. Okay, I'm going to stick those on because I got to cut pocket cards. I like the way that looks. Very cute. So, oh my gosh, dare I say you can fit like 50 pictures on here? Is it possible? We're going to count, guys. We are going to count. And still, yet, no embellishments. Oh, look at that little cute face. Um, let me find pocket cards very quickly. The collection comes with pocket cards, guys, which is amazing. Pocket cards, embellishments, you name it. It comes with it. I love this one here. Right. Am I cutting in the right place? Yes. I 
I like memories made. Oh, I got to trim it a bit off. Oh, look at that. And you can still fit another picture on this side. I mean, really, how cool is that? An adventure. Um, okay, trim, trim, trim a bit off the top and the bottom. Super duper fab. And another picture here. I'm going to put pattern paper there because I don't want to crop any of her photos that she sent me. She can crop them. So it's just so much easier when you print your pictures with a white border, you save so much space, right? So much space. And for that, Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Too cute. Oh my gosh. Or I should say, oh boy. Oh boy. That's too cute. They may not want to cover this up, but you don't have to. You can leave it like that. It's just so adorable, just like that. You know, have some pattern paper elements, the photo, the pocket card with the sentiment. Just adorable. And now I need to do this. Um, two and a half by five, eight. How is this one taller? Oh no, two and three quarters. I almost screwed that up. Almost screwed that up. I love the hearts there. Let's see if I can get hearts right in there. Nice and spaced out. People, it is meant to be. Just do not have enough for this side. I could piece a piece of paper together there, no problem. So cute. And that's a little tuck space. A little tuck space. Any questions, guys? Any qu I know, zero minutes. I can't help it. I'm just loving this. Okay, I may, be, I may have a new obsession, guys. I may have a new obsession. I still have to do the, the last four pockets, and I want to get it done today. I may have a new obsession. Are we on board with this new obsession? Moving parts is my new obsession. Oh my gosh, this has a little ca camera here. Too cute. It's this one. That actually looks good. I miss what Vela said. And the fact that you guys are so quiet is just shocking to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks so, so good. 
we still have to you know put some embellishments here let's look out let's look at the inspiration layout very quickly yes we ready here is the inspiration layout we still have to have like a little journaling spot here of some sort is what it's calling for an embellishment on both ends uh, title at the top I got already say cheese with the paper collection I think this is I think this is good people and look at all of this real estate that we have look at all of the real estate all right here is what I'm thinking here cutting this part out and just sticking it right there or Blessed are the curious, for they shall have adventures. Which one should we do? I think this one may be a little smaller. I like them both, honestly. Got to cut them both out. I think those two are perfect. Kathy's using, yes. You're in. Oh, oh, oh. I oh gosh, I did I made a mistake of some sort here. Uh oh. I'll restore chat. There we go. There you are. Um All right guys, so we're gonna have to pick this up. Let me do the let me do the last two pockets so the so the construction is done. Let me get my cutting guy. Hold on. I totally forgot to do the last pockets. Hold on, people. What do, what do those measure? Okay. I know why my paper warped over here because I didn't use my cardstock as the base. I had run out of my own cardstock and I bought cardstock at Hobby Lobby and that's why it warped. I was like, why is there warping over there? This made no sense to me. All right, so this, this set of pockets goes on the inside that we still have a mat yet. This goes into a folio. This is not a, this is a standalone project, guys. You would give this as the gift, all right? This is the project. This doesn't go into an album. This becomes a folio. That's why it's called a page folio. Okay, wait till you see the finished product. The, the delivery system of this, that's it. There's no more any other uh, layout that I make of this size. It's not for an album. This is for a folio only. That's it. So this is your L pocket. I went ahead and made four already. And I'm going to just stick these on with glue just to save time. And this is that Hobby Lobby cardstock, I can feel it. I have to be careful with my glue with this. All right, so you're gonna open up your layout. This one right here. All right, so this side is for, um, oh, sorry, this sticks, this stays on. So this will stick to your cover, all right? So this will open, all right? And then this is going to go right here. You're gonna move over about, oh, you can't see me, can you? Hold on. So I'd like you to leave about an inch, uh, an inch, an eighth of an inch of space before you stick this on, okay? So you want it to be on your A piece. Eighth of an inch, even a little bit more. All 
then the spacing that you're going to leave for the one that goes on top is as follows. You want to make sure that the top you can fit a four by six. So that's where you're going to position it, okay? Right there. You want to make sure you can fit four by sixes on the top and on the bottom. That's the measurement, okay? That way when we mat, you can also fit four by six right here. Four by six right here and then you have pocket, pocket for your photos. All right, so make sure you space it out properly for your four by sixes. Isn't that fabulous? And then another photo here. And this side would just be for a collage of photos. Oh, you know, maybe if you have one that went this way, or listen, you guys know I'm not opposed to cropping, all right? This one, too much of that on the top, that comes out. Right there, um, we can lose a bit of leg here. We don't need half legs. See that? We can lose a tiny bit of the top. That would go there. How fabulous. Oh my gosh, I'm just, you would fill this up with photos. And when you open it, you would have all of these pictures. Do you see the magic, people? I'm missing a pocket. So you do the same thing on the opposite side, my friends. That's your L pocket. What are we talking about, my K piece? If you're talking about my K piece, uh-oh, what do I do here? So this gets attached to the cover. If you're talking about my K piece, the K piece is a pocket. I just cut it from white cardstock. Okay, thank you, darling. So stay tuned for the video tomorrow, okay? Because I, I wanna finish this, I have to. <laughs> I can't take it. So you wanna make sure your pocket clears the four by six, okay? Don't forget. All right, I'm done with the construction. And this gets matted and it'll just be gorgeous. I've been so messy with the glue. I don't know what is my beef, people. I have no explanation for it. Zero, zero explanation for it. gosh look at that can't help it I have to do it I have to do it
Roderick is going to be like, are you going to be in there all night? <laughs> are you planning on staying there all night? When I get obsessed with something, and obsessed is not such a good word, but you guys know what I mean. I just want to finish it. It's hard for me to stop. That's why my shoulder hurts all the time, because I don't know when to stop. Look at that, guys. How sweet is that? And then that photo there. And I can crop some of this off. And this, no, not good enough. Oh, this one doesn't have a white border, but I guess I can live. Those are already cut for the inside. Or maybe pocket card here. We'll see. We shall see. Yes. So fabulous. When a project just speaks to me, guys, it's hard for me to let it go. And this paper is so easy to use that I just love it. <laughs> you would encourage me to keep going. I hear that. See what a difference pattern paper makes? My goodness. Just so fabulous. So absolutely fabulous. You can even put pattern paper here, you know, a different pattern paper. You don't have to put the photos here if you don't have them. You know, just boom, another piece of pattern paper and done. I'm going to have to put pattern paper. You know what? I am going to put pattern paper here because if she wanted to do an 8x10, you can absolutely do an 8x10. I mean, why not? Oh, oh look at that. Why not? What do you guys think about that? Should I do circle on circle? Look at that. Would be so nice there. Oh. The 8 by 10 here on this side. Oh, I love it. That's happening. I'm not going to stick it down though yet because I, I, I feel like I want to put a closure. We shall see. But look at that, people. Signature cut in here. Photo. O-M-G. That's all I got to say. Do you see the magic, my friends? I still have to do the little sentiment over here on the side. Oh, my goodness. Just lovely. All right, I'm done. But you guys get the idea, right? 8 by 10s, 5 by 7s, 4 by 6s, 3 by 4s, smaller pictures, you name it, will fit in here. This is the moving parts layout. That's it. Oopsie, forgot these and I glued them. And it'll be in a chipboard style folio and done. Done, 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 and done. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I put a paper clip there for that for that signature cut. All right, my friends. Any questions? That was so much fun. So much fun. So I'm not sure what time the video will go up. I'm hoping Barchet makes ribs tomorrow, so while he's cooking ribs, I'll be in here. Hopefully, that's what happens. <laughs> he's off this weekend, so hopefully I'll get some ribs. But seriously, this looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm looking down here because the chat is all the way down, the way down here. I can't pop it out no more. <coughs> Not sure what happened. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for all of the all of you who picked up the moving parts uh, 
cutting guide. Thank you, thank you so much, and I hope you love it. If you're looking for Moving Parts 2, the finale, that'll be in your project folder, guys. So check that out as well, because it'll be there this weekend. Because I'm moving on to Global Retreat Project. Global Retreat Project. Just to use this paper, right? But listen, you can make this out of any paper. I, I think this would make the most stunning baby shower project or wedding project. Can you imagine give, giving this as a gift for those two occasions? Mother's Day coming up, just this alone. Look at everything we got done in just two hours. Seriously. To be attached to the bottom versus to the top flap. Yes, there is a reason. Because, let me go back down. Because if it attaches to the top flap, you have to put a hinge. Whoopsie. Because this will be trapped. This would be the this would be the closure, but I didn't want that. You see that? I already glued it so I can't do it. All right, so you will have to hinge it down here if you wanted it attached to the top, okay? Either way. I mean, no, you don't have to if you attach it to the top. It doesn't really matter. Either way, you could attach it to the top or the bottom. I just wanted... What, what was the reason? I said it in a class. I can't remember now again. There was a reason. But you can absolutely attach it to the top. There's no reason why. Yeah, because it would just rest. Boom. Yeah, you can absolutely do that. But there was a reason why I brought it to the bottom. I can't remember now. I ha I'll have to go watch my own video. And I, I think I may want to put this here, but dare I? Oh my gosh. My only, my only hang up here is that this was supposed to be up here. See that perfectly straight dot? But I will, I can live without it. And remember, there's a pocket here, so I'll be adding things here. This is, this is not done yet. There's still so many layers to go, guys. So many layers to go. All right, my friends, I'm definitely done now, for now. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you all for hanging out. Dr. E, thank you for holding the fort. Renee, I forgot to mention Renee earlier. She's at a steampunk convention with her hubby. I know, how fun is that, right? We missed you, Renee. Bye, guys. Thank you.